so today we will be seeing what we will be seeing a little bit about sequence detector so somewhere i feel actually i have made some mistake due to which you guys were not able to understand so sequence detector today we are going to start okay so sequence detector as you know there are basically two types of sequence detector okay two types of sequence detector so one is one is what it is your overlap sequence detector another is non overlapping sequence detector now what do we mean by overlap and non overlap so in overlapping sequence detector i can use the bit of previous le detected or previously detected or checked sequence or you can simply write of the previous sequence you can use the bit of previous sequence to make new sequences okay to make new sequences whereas over here we cannot use the bit of previous sequences bit of previous sequences cannot be used to make new sequence okay so this is what this two we have okay sequence detector basically what we have that overlap and non overlap in overlap we can use the bit of the previous sequence to make new sequences in non overlap we cannot actually use the bit of previous sequences to make new sequences now let us understand with with the help of an example okay so if suppose i have my input sequence so input sequence if suppose we have if this is my input sequence okay this is my input sequence and same here also we will have the same input sequence okay here also we have the same input sequence so if you want to know basically more about this sequence detector there is one book thomas l floyd okay so everything that i am telling actually you can see it from thomas l floyd same thing you will be getting okay so if this is my input if suppose and the sequence i want to detect is what it is let us assume 1011 like this so i have told you what so first start from here so you can see in the first five you are getting the sequence so output will be one okay then you start from here to here you are not getting so this will be zero so once again you check from here to here you will be getting zero next five so you are getting one from here to here you will be getting zero again from here to here you will be getting one so you will be getting one three times where so if i write properly so once you will be getting over here one more time over here and one more time over here so you can see basically the first time we have the one it is overlapping with this one okay second time you are getting one again you are overlapping over here and third time also you are overlapping so three times you are getting one okay three times you are getting one 
so this is the shortcut way in which you can determine how many times the output will be one but if you want to do the proper steps then how is it going to be detected look very carefully so this actually i told you okay i have already explained this now look now look what happens so we start from one over here okay we start from this bit so when this bit enters the sequence detector you can see it is only one so output will be what output will be zero it will be zero when this sequence is not detected sequence when it is not detected and output will be one when sequence is detected okay so at the first bit when this first bit enters the sequence detector output will be zero if the second bit also in enters the sequence detector you can see still it is 1 1 so output will be 0 in the third bit it will be 1 1 0 so output will be 0 in the fourth bit we are at this point so it will be 1 1 0 1 so still 0 and in the last this point when all this five bits have entered the sequence detector what will happen you can see the complete sequence has been detected so output will be 1 so now what will happen once again your sequence detector will now start from here so you can see this will be what now in the next time already you can see listen very carefully in the sequence detector as this is overlap so you can see what already out of this five bit up to this point everything is entered now i will be checking for the next bit so we had checked up to this point for the first cycle now i am going to check up to this much point so you can see 10 1 1 0 so this is not my sequence so i will be writing what i will be writing zero after this for this five zero so the next five will be this one okay so for this also i will be getting zero okay this five for the next five you can see i will be getting one okay next five you will be getting zero for the next five once again you will be getting zero for the next five once again you are getting one and you will stop your counting over here because there are no more bits over here so you can still see that the number of times output is 1 it is equal to how many times it is equal to 3 times still you are getting the same answer okay so any way you want to perform you can do it this is a long method but this is the systematic way of calculating and this is the simplest method now look over here in non overlapping method so in non overlapping method basically you cannot use the previous bits once the sequence is detected you cannot use the previous bit now the clear cut simplest way of doing is that in the given input sequence try to find out where all places you will be getting the sequences so the shortcut way that i had told you so you can see at this point you can get one of the sequence now you cannot use this five bit any more okay you cannot use so the next bit it is zero so our sequence should start from one so this is not required once again you can see over here you will be getting the sequence so number of times output is going to be one it is what it is two times so directly you can calculate it like this or if you want to do systematically like this tell me first up to this point is it clear up to this point whatever i told is this clear is this clear piyush is this clear to you piyush since you only told me fine so now see this was the simplest way in which you can calculate the sequence for a non overlap detector so now see systematically if you want to do once again so how are you going to do so look when the first bit enters the input so you can see the sequence is not completed so output will be zero in the next case also you can see it is 11 so 
so output will be zero in the next case this will be three still output zero over here once again you can see double one zero one has entered the sequence detector so this is not the sequence so this will be zero in the fifth case you can see the complete sequence is present so output is going to be one so now you will not consider this much bit in further calculation you are not going to consider this now look over here what is going to happen in the next step okay next step what is going to happen so now when you see this is zero okay this is zero so when actually zero enters the sequence now once again the sequence detector will start from the beginning okay it will start from the beginning and whenever you can see this is means in the sequence that needs to be detected here it is one but here it is zero so that means i cannot start my sequence counting so this output will be zero so go to the next bit okay so next bit has already entered so you can see now this is the first bit of the sequence that is being detected of this one okay so first bit is one but here this complete bit sequence when it is detected output will be one at that time not when you just get the one means this first one when you get the first one your output will be one no when this entire sequence you get then your output will be one so when you get this first one output is zero now you have got this first one your detector will check if the second bit is one once again you can see the second bit is one but this sequence has yet not been generated so that is why output is zero now sequence detector will check for the third bit it is also same as the third bit of the sequence but yet complete sequence has not been generated so still it will be zero checking the fourth bit complete sequence is not detected so this will be zero now at the fifth bit you can see that basically this is the sequence so our output will be one and in this case you can see the number of output is two so whichever way you want to solve you will get the number of ones as same only which whichever method you solve tell me if this is clear or not first is this clear how to detect is this clear any doubt you should have fine now let us try to see how to basically construct such type of sequence detector okay so there are two ways so there are two ways or two finite state machine or two models that we can use the first model is what it is your mure model okay mure model we have okay so in the mure model we are going to see basically two of the cases first case will be overlapping case second case will be non overlapping case so first you should remember that in mure model type of finite state machine or sequence detector your output is just function of the present state okay it is just the function of present state or in textbook it might be written sometimes current state also okay whichever you want to say so output is actually your present state or your current state and one more thing over here see basically you need to if suppose you have the sequence now how is your model going to know this particular sequence has been achieved okay how is it going to know there should be some kind of state that particularly describes that when you get the first one you go to actually you will be checking if in the next case there are two ones now if in the next case if you get after two one a zero so you are going to this state now after this if you go to like if you get the next one so your sequence will go over here now after this if you get one more one so your sequence will be completed and output will be equal to one so basically your machine should be able to know that this is the sequence so how can we construct that so we will be constructing that with the help of the states 
okay there are specific states over here so remember in mure model the number of states is equal to number of bits in the sequence plus 1 okay number of bits in the sequence plus 1 so here i will be constructing this 1101 only so you can see the number of bits are 1 2 3 4 5 so it will be 5 plus 1 okay so in total that will be 6 So there will be six number of states. Now, what are the states? So first, let us name the states. Okay, name the states. Okay, first tell me. For if I have to have six states, what should be the max minimum number of flip flops required, or the minimum number of states? minimum number of states required is 6 so how can we get six number of distinct states using three flip flop very good because six states if we have so okay first let me give the state number let me show you so the first state will be what it will be don't tell like sir we can write it like a b c d no it is not required okay the most simpler approach is what the first state remember in mure model it will be idle first state is idle the second state it will be in the first look over here 1001 so when you get this first bit in the sequence so that will be s1 next next state will be once you have got this one and once again you are getting this second one so it will be s11 so third state will be similarly when you have 2 1 present and the next bit in the sequence you get 0 similarly the fourth state will be s110 you have this then you get 1 and the fifth state will be what it will be s11011 so in total you can see there are six state so now this six state basically they are they are alpha numeric code so if i want to basically write them in digital i can encode this ideal as 000 this s1 as 001 this s1 as 010 this 110 as 011 this as 100 and this as 101 so in binary numbers i can code it like this but it is not required okay it is not required because such complex means they they in gate exam it is never going to be asked that you need to model this you it will be never asked because it is very time consuming okay so in gate exam basically every time they are going to ask you to detect the sequence that's it they will never ask you to design one sequence detector but still i am showing you so this is okay let it be written over here so now these are the states i have so can you draw the state diagram for this one state diagram how to draw the state diagram for this particular cases can you draw it so just give it a try first give it a try how are you going to do this how are we going to do so basically this is what this is your up to this point everything is same for overlap and non overlap okay so how are we going to draw the overlapping state diagram so look state diagram next is state diagram so if we have to see the state diagram so first you are going to start from the ideal state idle state okay that what does this idle state signify that you are basically in a sequence in a random sequence let it be 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 any sequence it can be okay so from whichever place the sequence is starting you are in the ideal state why because you are searching for this first one 
so before you get this first one your flip flop should be in some state so that state is actually known as your ideal state so you are in the idle state first so remember the sequence so when you are at idle state the moment you get the first one from idle state you will go to s1 okay here you can see that this is s1 and when will you go there when your input is 1 so remember always i will be writing like this input and here it will be output so when input is 1 if in the ideal state you are and if your input is 1 so what will happen you will be getting this first one but will your output be zero output will not be zero because sorry output will not be one by your output will be one when you get this complete sequence but at the moment you have just got this first one so output is zero now if you are at s1 state and if you get the second one so what will happen if your input is 1 you will be going to s2 sorry s2 i am writing s11 okay s11 but still you have got this two bit this two bit in the sequence but the complete sequence has not been achieved yet so output will be zero similarly if you get zero over here output is still not achieved but you will be reaching at s110 so now if you get one more one your sequence is not yet yet reached you will be going to s1101 now if suppose you get one more one you can see you are reaching s11011 so you have reached the sequence so now this time your output is going to be one tell me if this is clear to you or not is this clear up to this point so we have completed this sequence okay we have completed this sequence first tell me up to this point is it clear is it clear everyone so note it down very quickly up to this point whatever i have written so I, this state diagram is not completed why because i have straight forwardly just made this thing constructed the sequence diagram okay so it is not necessary that every time i will be getting this sequence okay so sometimes after 1 1 i might get a zero or after one only i get zero or after 1 1 i get one and after that i get zero so all those cases need to be actually implemented in this state diagram so is this completed so now look what happens if we are in the idle state okay we are in the idle state and we get a zero okay something like this so we are in the idle state we get a zero so we will still remain at the idle state only so if we get a zero we are going to stay at zero only and output will be still zero so you can see i have already constructed when we are at idle and we get input as one that we have already done so from idle state input can be either zero or one so both the cases i have taken so now see at s1 at s1 i have already taken the case for input one but what happen if input is zero so that means if from one the first bit of the sequence is one after that i get zero so what will happen once again i will be going to your idle state i will be searching for this first means in this bit as i got the first one after that i got zero so now once again i will be searching for this first one okay so i will be going to idle state once again and output will be zero so for s1 also i have constructed then that when it is input is 1 or when input is 0 
constructed. Now come to S11. So here I have taken zero. What happens if after this two bit I get one more one? Okay, after two bit, this two has already been achieved over here. You can see it is S11. So I am at this two bit, but after this, instead of getting a zero, I got one. So you can see as this is your overlapping sequence detector. So I can take this previous one, this previous one to make this as one one. So what will happen if I get one over here, I will be at this state only and output is still going to be zero. So if after S one one, so S one one actually corresponds to the sequence that you have got one one. And once again, if your input is one, so you are seeing that you are at the starting bit, two bit of the sequence. So that is why you are staying at S11 only. Now see at S10. So I will be erasing all this. If suppose you have achieved 101 in the sequence. Now in the next bit, if you get one, you are going to S1101. If you are getting zero. So now where are you going? You can see even if you take this bit or this three bit, you are not able to get the sequence. So you need to once again go back to the idle state and search for the first one. You need to search for the first one. So this will be zero. This will be zero. Now come over here. Come over here. So you can see over here that if you have achieved one, one, zero, one, and if your next bit is one, you are achieving this thing. What you are achieving the sequence. But if your next bit is zero, okay, if your next bit is zero, so what will happen? You can see over here that if your next bit is zero, if you take this bit, this three bit or this two bit, you are not getting the sequence anywhere. Okay, you are not getting the starting of sequence. That means once again, you have to go back to idle once again. So this will be 0 comma 0. Okay. Tell me up to this point. Is it clear? Now will be the important part. Now it will be the important part. So see, is this clear? Up to this point, is it clear to all of you? Piyush Raju. See, now the last case, last case. See, we haven't discussed what will happen in overlapping case if I get this sequence, okay, if I get this sequence and if I get a zero. So this is your completed sequence. Now if you get zero after this, you can see that you are going to this three state. This is again repetitive in this sequence. So that means what if you get zero after this state you are going to this state. So let me use some different color. If you get input as zero, you will be going to this state, but your output, it will not be one by because you have just achieved the th first three bit of the sequence. You haven't achieved the complete bit sequence. So this will be zero. What happens if your bit sequence is completed and you get one? So you can see that this two bit, it is the same of the starting of the sequence detector. So you will be actually reaching means I don't have space over here. Uh, so what I can do, I am using red color, but you basically take it from here only. Okay. So you can see this will be what? So over here I got one and this is zero. So tell me, is this complete state diagram understood by you or not? Understood or not understood? So this is your state diagram. Everyone tell me. So this is the complete state diagram. Tell me if this is clear or not. Fine. Now we have to draw what? We have to draw the state table. Okay. State table. So state table, I am going to draw with the help of state diagram. State table. So basically I am over here. I am not encoding any of the state like idle as 00, S1 as 001. 
all those things i am not doing because i don't want to design the sequence detector over here simple thing is that i just want to show you how to draw the state table for this particular state diagram so look over here so first let me draw okay because the i might make some mistake so first let me draw so this will be serial number present state or current state whatever you want to write so over here you can write the input also okay input or fine input we can write over here or it's okay let me do it in the single table only so next state and over here input is equal to 0 and input is equal to 1 and over here we have the output so now see very carefully if our present state is idle so still write this 11011 okay so if our present state is idle okay if our present state is idle and if you get input zero okay if you get input as zero so what will happen if input is zero look in the table also if you are at idle if you get input zero your output will be zero and you will remain at the idle state so you will remain at idle out and what about if input is one if your input is one you can see if you are at idle if your input is one you will jump to s1 so right over here s1 and you have just achieved this bit so output will be zero okay output will be zero now next case if your present state is s1 okay so here i will be doing every like 4 5 6 so s1 s11 s1 10 s1 01 and last will be s11 011 so you can see if your present state is s1 and if you get input as 0 so what will happen you will be again going to see over here in this diagram if you are at s1 this is your present state if you get input as 0 so what will happen you will go to idle in the next state so right over here idle if you are at s1 and if your input is 1 because i have made this for input 1 so this two sequence bit is completed you will go to s2 but your output is still zero now next if you are at s11 and if you get input zero so this three bit will be completed and you can see over here if you are at s11 if you get zero you will go to s110 in the next state and if you are at s11 and if your present state is at means your input is 1 so where will you go so look over here if you are at s11 input is 1 you will stay at s11 output is still 0 now if you are at s110 and if you get 0 okay if you are at s110 you get 0 you will go to idle and after s110 if you get 1 so this state will be completed so this you will be going to s1101 state output is still zero now look if you are at s110 and if you get zero over here input as zero so once again you are going to move to idle case okay look over here s110 and if you get zero you are once again going to idle and if you get one what will happen you will go to s1101 so remember this is your next state if you give input then only you are going to achieve so here also your output will be zero you haven't achieved the state yet this will be the next state so now when you have got the state at that time if you get input as zero so look over here 
if you get input as zero so now look over here if you get input as zero so what is happening if you get input as your zero so you will go to s11 and over here if you get one so you will be going to s11 this time your output is going to be one because this is your present state and this is your present output so remember this always sir you write s2 i think it will be s11 where s2 oh sorry s1 yes so is this clear tell me is this clear to all of you so now basically you can even encode this as 0000001010011100 whichever way you want you can encode it and with the help of a d flip flop you can construct the sequence detector is that clear is that clear so note it down very quickly note it down yeah piyush you want to ask something Yes. Can we uh, make the same table with a slight difference? Like uh, for the input zero, we are landing on. Uh, suppose we are starting uh, the present state is idle, and for input zero, we are again landing at idle. And for uh -huh. that also, uh, we can write the output corresponding output as zero. And again, yeah. uh, if the output is one, then for that also a separate column for uh, a separate output column for s uh, when the input is one. It should be zero. Can we write two different output columns for zero and one? Input? You can, can write it this way also. Look. So one more thing I am doing. So present state. Okay. Over here, I will be writing the input. Okay. and over here the next state what happened i think wait a minute My computer got hanged i don't know why i don't know usually why this happens just give me a minute okay so this is the next state this will be the output okay so your present state it can be like uh so what all combinations i can take present state and input so now this will be very very big see how there are in total qa qb qc so we have seen that idle state i have represented it 000 s1 state as 001 s11 as 010 s110 as 011 and s1101 it is as 100 and s110 it is 101 so here you have qa qb qc and input okay input you have so how many total combinations will be there of qa qb qc and input how many combinations will we have 16 very good so we will start from 0000 0001 so this will basically capture all the places now what about if your present state is 110 one, 
so this state or even this state it is not required so for all this our next state is going to be don't care so we will be putting don't care and even you can fill this table completely you will be getting qa plus qb plus qc plus in terms of qa qb qc and input okay so you can draw the k map and you can get it is it clear piyush and raju both of you how to draw actually you can use this table also so the next will be what it will be zero means if i want to fill so this will be zero zero one zero next will be zero zero one one next will be zero one zero zero next will be zero one zero one like this zero uh, this is five six we need okay then we will have seven like this the complete thing will go on okay is it clear everyone tell me is it clear so like this you can fill the whole table and you can make what you can make your complete circuit diagram also is that clear is that clear everyone fine so now let us see what so i told you there are basically two models okay two model the first model was mure model now we have what we have your mile model so we have the mille model so now in mille model how do we actually make the tables over here okay how do we do it how do we do it so what do you think where will be the change where do we have the change over here just give me a minute i am getting one call yeah so in mille model how is it different from mure model so over here basically your output your output it is actually function of your present state as well as your input okay present state as well as your input your output is dependent on okay so now let me show you if you had to detect the overlap sorry the sequence so same thing this is remaining the same everywhere how to detect the number of output the number of ones in the output this is same whether you construct it using mure model or even using mille model it will remain the same only thing is that the hardware will be a little bit different so let, let me show you how okay so over here if we have this sequence 11011 so the number of states number of states it is going to be the number of bits only so the number of bits over here they are 5 so the number of states are going to be 5 now if i want to name the state okay if i want to name the state so the first state okay the first state it is going to be idle the second state is going to be s1 the third state is going to be s11 the fourth state is going to be s110 and the fifth state is going to be 1101 okay so there will be no sixth state where you have s11011 so that will not be present here we have only five states okay in mille model we will have five states so now over here how will it be different let me show you okay okay so in mure model i didn't show you for okay what is happening here 
so i didn't show you for overlapping uh, sorry non overlapping i directly went to mille model okay so you should have told me sir you didn't draw for over non overlapping so for non overlapping so once again we are coming back to mure model non overlapping okay non overlapping sequence how do we actually detect so look over here now so in non overlapping remember that once the sequence is detected you cannot take the bit of the previous sequence you cannot take it so once again you are going to start from idl start from idl okay if you get this first one as your input so you are going to move to s1 and your output will be zero now if you get the next one you will move to s11 output will be zero if you get a zero as input your output will be zero but you will move to s110 now next if you go to if you get your input as one so you will move to s1101 but still you can see your output hasn't been detect means your sequence hasn't been detected so output will be zero next case is what if you get one more one over here so you will be getting s11011 now your output is going to be one and you have generated the sequence okay so you have completed the procedure for getting the sequence now look over here so that is why you people remember that day when we had solved the question i told you that you should always search for the path in which you get directly from the first state to the last state if you remember that question of sequence detector you can see so we had started from this was actually the idle state so i told you search for the input when you go from this state to this state directly okay so it was coming out to be as you can see input is 1 you go to the state from here if you take input 0 you go to the state from here if you get input 1 you go to the state and your output is 1 so the sequence was actually 101 over here okay it was 101 so same thing we are doing over here also but in this question it was written to detect an overlapping sequence now if this is non overlapping look how will it change basically this is still your mure model only and in non overlapping see now after this you have achieved this sequence now it doesn't matter if you get the first one if you get the first one you are still not allowed to consider this last so where will you go where do you think where are you going to go if you get the first one where are you going to go to the idol or to means if you if you get the next bit as one after completing this sequence you can see once again you are going to the first bit of the sequence so after completing the sequence if you get one you are going to one s1 and this is the first bit of the sequence your output will be zero but after completing the sequence if you get zero over here so zero is not actually the sequence means bit in the first bit of the sequence so you will move to idle okay so this is zero this will be zero okay so in the last case if you see see over here when we got one we went to s11 and if we got zero we went to over here but over here the difference is this only remaining everything will remain the same remaining every other place it will remain the same only after the completion of the sequence the state diagram will differ see if you are at idle if you get zero 
you will remain at zero output will be zero if you are at s1 if you get zero so you will move to idle okay you will move to idle output is zero if you are at s11 and if you get zero sorry if you get one so where will you move if you get one so you are going to move to s1 okay if you get one you are going to move to s1 now over here if you are at s110 if you get zero so you have to go to idle okay so this will be 01 now if you are at 10 okay if you are just wait a minute yeah so it's okay so if you are at 1101 and if you get a zero so once again you have to move to idle only because zero is not there in the starting of the sequence so this will be 0 comma 0 so remaining everything will remain the same only thing is that at this two at the end of the bit this is getting different okay is this clear so what are you telling raju idle hello yes tell me uh, uh, the transition from s110 uh, when it the, when the input is zero should the output be zero or be zero or where S one one zero. Yes, this one. Oh uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. From this, uh, if the input is zero. Yes. One one zero. If you get zero, yeah. So, okay. So, so I have written one output is. So this will be zero. Yes. Okay. So this is the non-overlapping model. Okay. Non-overlapping state diagram. For this also, you can draw the state diagram. Okay. State table. Sorry, I am not drawing it anymore. okay so now i was talking about mille model okay mille model i was talking so in mille model you can see what that basically we have five number of states one more state is not required over here so basically how do we actually construct the state diagram over here so first let me show you for overlapping case okay overlapping case so once again we have this bit sequence so if you are at idle okay so if you get the first one in your input so you are going to go where you are going to go to s1 output is 0 if you get after this input as 1 so the next state will be s11 output is 0 after this if you get zero so you will go to s110 state output will be zero after s110 if you get one in your input you will be going to s1101 output is still zero now after this this is overlapping case remember if you get remember after 1101 if you get one more one if you get one more one so where do you think will you be going so basically your sequence is completed now your sequence is completed okay your sequence is completed now see over here very carefully this sequence is completed now if i start the sequence from here you can see this is not the sequence desired sequence if i start the bit position from here zero starting bit is one so this is not the sequence if i start from this one so this two can be the start of the next sequence so from here if i get one in your input i will be moving to s11 and this time my output will be also one because already i have got what i have got the complete sequence so this is where is the difference in your mille model compared to your mure model that here we have actually one less state now you don't need to worry how will you actually know if it is mille model or mure model it will be given to you in the question okay it will be given to you in the question see now you got over here so now we have completed the sequence completed the sequence now if you see 
if we had got 1101 the next state would have been 0 so where are you going to go so if you start from here this is not the sequence if you start from here not the sequence here not the sequence zero is not the sequence so that means if you get your input as zero after this state you have to move to idle and your output is also zero similarly let us complete if you are at idle you get input zero so you will stay at idle only if you are at s1 and if you get zero so once again you will be going back to idle only okay if you are at s11 and if you get 1 if you are at s11 you get 1 so that means you have already 11 and once again you get 1 so this two bit can be taken as the starting of the next sequence so you will remain at s11 only now if you are at s10 and the next bit if you get 0 so 110 you already have if you get the next bit as 0 so you cannot use it in the sequence so you need to move where you need to move to the idle so this is 0 comma 0 okay so this is the complete state diagram for your mille model for a, your overlapping sequence detector tell me if this is clear to you guys or not is this clear is this clear raju piyush भूमिका वाई आर यू सो लेट भूमिका वाई वेर यू लेट मीन्स इट्स ऑलरेडी टेन ओ क्लॉक सो यू हैड योर ऑफिस वर्क और वॉट सो नाउ ऑल ऑफ यू गाइज आई वॉन्ट यू टू ड्रॉ फॉर नॉन ओवरलैपिंग ओके so severe power cut is going to affect india okay severe power cut so was it due to means this rain or was it actually means told to you guys that there will be power cut was it pre decided that there will be power cut so now you have to draw for non overlap okay so i guess it was due to some other factors then so now india is going to face a severe power issues okay because there is shortage of coal if you guys read about finance if you follow finance new news then you might be knowing that india is going under this thing means we have a lot of inflation going on in the fmcg sector okay so food and food grains and oil seeds india is suffering from like 14.95% inflation and in total if you see then 6.95% inflation on top of that we have shortage of coal okay we are very much deficit in coal so states like maharashtra and tamil nadu i guess i was reading today only so all those states there will be severe power shortage okay so there will be like every day 2 to 3 hours or even 4 hours of power cut so that is a major thing that is we are going to face now it's okay so draw for non overlap means bhumika you have since you have missed the part okay so you have to once again study means we have to once again see the lectures of this one see here also the states are going to be the same okay but only thing is that you have non overlapping over here okay non overlapping so okay one question i will ask you <laughs> means if you guys go to the vegetable market so what is the costliest vegetable that you are buying at the moment what is the costliest vegetable if you guys are going so you guys don't go then so over here if you know this drumstick okay drumstick so that day i went and i asked for like drumstick so gujarat in gujarat there is lot of drumsticks okay even this uh, vegetable vendors they give you for free if you take vegetable of more than 100 from them so i told him bhai give me some free drumstick okay so he told me भैया इट्स थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी रुपीज पर के जी 
and I was like what? Three fifty rupees kg. Okay, lemon is like one hundred and seventy-five, or I guess one fifty rupees kg. So all those things means a very difficult time is coming now. Okay, so now for non-overlap. Okay, non-overlap we have. So once again we are going to start from idle. So if we get the input as one, okay, if we get input as one, we will move to S one state. Output is zero. If we get one more, if we are at S one, we get input one. We will go to S one one state. If we get input zero, we will go to S one one zero state. Output will be zero. If we get input one, we will go to S one one zero one. Output will be zero. Okay. Now see over here. If you get one over here, so already you have got this much sequence. Now if you get one, okay. So your sequence will be completed. Your sequence will be completed. Output will be equal to one. But this is non-overlapping. So where are you going to go? Tell me now. Tell me. In which state are you going to go when your input is one? Your output will be one. But what will be the next state? So you have already achieved this much. Now your input is coming one over here. So your next state, your sequence will be completed. But what will be the next state then? Yes, very good. Once you complete this sequence. now as this is non overlapping you cannot use any of the bits for constructing for detecting the new sequence that means once you have completed this sequence you once again need to start searching for the first one of the sequence so for that you have to go to idle state okay you have to go to idle state but if you have got like 101 and the next state was 0 Okay, if the next state was zero, so where will you go? Where will you go? If you have like, if you get, if you get zero, then where will you go? Same. Once again, if you get zero, so you can see this sequence is starting from one. So you have to search for the first one. So even if you get zero, it doesn't matter. You have to start from idle only. now let us complete if you are at idle if you get zero so you will stay at idle only if you are at s1 if you get remaining all thing will be same okay remaining everything will be same if you are at s1 if you get zero you will have to go to idle if you are at s11 and if you get see over here if you are at s11 okay and you get one so you can use this to one for your sequence detector why because this two are one your sequence complete sequence has not been detected if this was 1011 and after this if you had got one you cannot use this two one why because your sequence has already been completed but over in this case you can see this is not the completion of sequence you are at the midway of the sequence and you are getting one so now you can use this one for completion of sequence so if you get one you are going to stay at s11 your output is going to be zero if after 110 you get one more zero you will be going to idle state so now your state table is sorry state diagram is completed for the non overlap case tell me if this is clear to you guys or not so i thought means you guys are from computer science so if it is asked so it's okay you should be knowing this means for ec electrical guys you guys don't need to know any of this okay whatever shortcut trick i told you that is okay but for computer science i was reading few questions there was actually mille model mure model so you should be knowing basically what is happening so that is why i told this thing okay tell me if this is clear to you guys or not this modeling is it clear everyone tell me so note it down quickly note it down
so then randomly you can take few sequences and you can construct the state table sorry state diagram so you can construct for this one so these are the usual sequence that are asked in exam first is 101 another is 1101 so all these sequences have been asked in the exam okay so for all this two for this two construct the overlap and non overlap okay using mure model as well as mile model okay so you have to construct this this is your homework will you be able to do this or not is this clear is this clear tell me yes or no so the questions i have actually means i will be framing the questions okay so now we have this thing uh so we are left with something of the combinational circuit okay so combinational circuit we are left with so it's okay we can do one thing okay we can take this session tomorrow okay it's okay or else there will be nothing left for tomorrow if we finish this and there are only few questions over here so we will be finishing in this like in 15 20 minutes so it will not be that much helpful so better thing is that that let us take the class tomorrow and in tomorrow session we will be completing this and we will be discussing about the sequence detector i told you for 101 and 1101 so this two you need to come making the state diagram okay using mure model as well as mile model okay so we are left with this topic only so this is 15 20 minutes not more than that decoder 2 cross 4 decoder 3 cross 8 then we have active low encoder priority encoder that's it okay here i have to discuss with you this thing tri state buffer what is tri state buffer so this will be over and this question okay nothing will be left there okay so in tomorrow's session we will be completing this so tomorrow we will start the session from 8:50 then okay is that okay everyone tell me yes or no so this mile mure model was left i thought means i was solving few questions from the side that piyush gave me and i saw that specifically there were terms mure model mile model fsm so i thought it's okay that i will tell you about all this thing because last year there were no students of cs so i didn't discuss this topic at all but this year there are few students means you guys are from their cs only so that is why i thought i will discuss about this okay so are you guys practicing the question tell me now so okay i will be spending like 15 minutes with you guys now so one by one tell me what is your current status okay what all topics you guys have finished and what all topic is left for you guys tell me now yeah so let us start from raju okay alphabetically so raju tell me speak up okay i don't want you guys to be typing so tell me i asked you to speak and you are typing okay so piyush till the time okay raju speak up if you have if you can so like mathematics is over so where are you guys in mathematics so your mathematics syllabus is not that big compared to ec electrical in hello so where are you yes tell me piyush so raju you can type if there is some issue with you yeah for uh, digital electronics uh, currently uh, i have revised till uh, this counter uh, which one uh, this uh, actually till uh, level triggered and uh, edge triggered i have done and after that i will again revise it uh, i i am okay. so any uh, doubts you are facing while solving the question uh, uh, no, uh, 
yet now i haven't watched because uh, whatever you have taught with that uh, actually i am able to solve questions and after that uh, i will also uh, i am also taking help from internet so that if there is some extra like tips if i can get mm-hmm. or uh, mm-hmm. like uh, you, uh, you uh, say ab- about tricks so i i thought of, okay i also get some uh, some tips like how to do this how to do that so there are alternative when i get alternative solutions for only one solution then uh, that's very beneficial yeah so that is very beneficial so that you will get more tips you will get when you start solving test series okay test series uh, test series uh, i haven't uh, actually taken any subscription or uh, uh, purchase for that but actually uh, there are a lot of questions available uh, from the gates uh, the syllabus itself they are uh, giving yes a, there uh, are a lot of questions available uh, yes, so i have uh, already told you when if you solve the previous year questions so there are lot of questions okay uh, yes sir and uh, these uh, uh, specifically i have seen that for uh, like uh, just you just now you mentioned that for csc uh, the questions are slightly different like they are specifically asking uh, uh, related to even if it is not related to like there are uh, as for digital electronics uh, we see sequence detector but for ec and uh, other uh, branches these type of sequence detection problems are not given uh, in combination with uh, see sequential circuit so uh, that's what i have seen that uh, even in mathematics uh, uh they might be asking uh, some kind of crypto arithmetic uh, problem yes uh, some, yes they, they some are, discrete if it that is actually discrete, yes discrete mathematics they are asking discrete kind of uh, no no okay. sir in discrete mathematics actually there is one aptitude mm-hmm. section in aptitude okay. section itself they have asked crypto arithmetic <laughs> questions is it related to encryption Uh, yes, is this? Sir, one, one, once or twice, uh, uh, once or twice, they have asked about that, uh, like uh, uh, transposition or like very simple, simple uh, transpositions if are like shifting uh, A B C D and corresponding digits if we shift uh, like uh, we can encrypt five four three as six uh, five four. Okay, okay, like okay, okay. Yes. That kind of that's actually transposition if are. as what i remember because it was told in algebra part but actually they uh, told that it is actually part of cryptarithm mm-hmm. yeah so syllabus is little bit different from ec electrical i am okay oh uh, yes sir uh, for uh, like uh, there is aptitude is very general section so we uh, i didn't uh, expect that this kind of question will also ask but actually they have what they have uh, done is what i have observed that from each and every uh, topic of the csc like uh, cryptarithm and uh, database they may be asking some kind of very very simple concept questions yes they yes they giving it in aptitude and those areas even in maths they will be asking yes so where students are not actually expecting okay so mm-hmm. even i was watching your questions from this website okay and i saw a lot of questions which i was not actually able to solve by seeing them pass this question okay there are few more questions i was seeing like this question it is very simple but in recent time means i was watching one more website gate overflow so there also you guys have question okay gate overflow gq or something geo so there i was watching questions few of the questions i was not actually able to understand only what they are asking okay then i had to look the solution for that and then i got okay so they are asking a very simple thing so basically what they are using they are using the jargon of your this computer science okay the specific terms that are used in computer science they are asking that okay now how can we know actually we are means i am from ec electrical in background okay specifically from electrical and instrumentation background so i don't know that much about cs but it's okay it's okay this year i will see to everything means if we are teaching computer science so it's okay i need to get all those things yeah so raju tell me about you i have a book from that i am solving some problems from number some why some why not all boolean minimization and also trying some discrete mathematics problem algorithm engineering mathematics dbms and c programming see 
at us means simultaneously you cannot focus on multiple issues okay you cannot focus on multiple things remember this when you are studying at max to take two subjects okay two subjects you can take not more than two subjects because if you are reading like dbms also then c programming also you are actually channelizing your thought process in multiple ways so better thing is take two subjects not more than two subjects and don't solve some of the question try to solve all the questions okay try to solve all the questions is that okay raju and have you completed the previous all the lectures that i asked you okay fine so yes so while solving questions of digital electronics are you facing some kind of problem from some topic where tell me where are you facing the problem see i will be taking one test okay live test so i will inform you guys when okay i will tell you that i am going to take live test live test will be we will be like sitting in the class and i will be asking you questions all of you so you guys need to answer we will be taking one poll and you will be telling me the answers in that so i will be asking you randomly any one of you to solve the question okay so if you are not putting efforts i will be getting to know when we have that test okay so like this year okay so you might be thinking see when you are actually taking the questions okay you are taking the questions and by reading the question you are not able to solve okay you are not able to solve but the moment you turn the pages and you see the solution just by looking in the first line of the solution if you are able to know okay so this was actually they were asking so if that is the case that means you require practice but if after looking in the solution also if you are not able to understand the question that means that is the problem of your concept then you need to come to me for this you need to come to me for this you have to practice yourself okay so that means you have the adequate concept adequate knowledge but you haven't practice so that is why you are not able to understand the questions okay so this is the case then did you guys understand this problem raju so i will say work on that okay work on questions i have already actually given you the that books okay resources for ec electrical ion so from that book you guys practice and let me know if you are able to solve questions or not and i will be framing myself few questions for you guys so those will be the toughest level of questions okay in means in gate exam they won't be asking that kind of question but they might ask some part of those questions okay so i am framing those questions so give me some time like one or two week because it will take some time for me okay so i will do that also and randomly one day i will take one class because we have buffer days also like on mondays and fridays we don't have class so any one of the monday or friday i will take your class and then we will solve this question okay is that clear is that okay fine then